Hello guys, in this video we are doing an example on how to calculate the concentration of ions in a solution during a dilution. So let's jump right into it. Let's calculate the concentration of aluminum and chloride ions in a solution made by diluting 30 milliliters of 0.357 molar solution of aluminum chloride to a total volume of 500 milliliters. So what are the steps? The first step is that we have to list the known values. So what do we know? We know that we have aluminum chloride as our solute because aluminum ions are always 3 plus, chloride ions are 1 minus. The formula for aluminum chloride is AlCl3. Now, this is our solute. We know that the volume of the concentrated solution was 30 milliliters and the molarity of the concentrated solution is 0.357 mole per liters. Now we also know that the volume of the diluted solution is 500 milliliters. Okay, so that's all that we know. Now let's find the molarity of the solute in the diluted solution. So we are looking for M sub D. We know that we can use the following formula. The volume of the concentrated solution multiplied by the molarity of the concentrated solution equals to the volume of the diluted solution times the molarity of the diluted solution. So here we know all the information about the concentrated solutions, right? And we also know the volume of the diluted solution. So we have to solve for M sub D, the concentration of the diluted solution. So from here, M sub D equals to the volume times the molarity of the concentrated solution divided by the volume of the diluted solution. Let's plug in the values. So we have 30.0 milliliters multiplied by 0 0.357 mole per liters divided by 500 milliliters. Okay, the milliliters will cancel out, and my final unit is going to be mole per liters. So if you do this calculation, you are going to get 2.14 times 10 to the negative 2 mole per liters for the concentration of the aluminum chloride solution. Okay, what is the third step? The third step is finding the ion to solute ratio. So we know that when we dissolve aluminum chloride in water, we are going to form an aqueous solution, which is going to have aluminum three plus ions in it and chloride ions in it, Cl minus aqueous. From here, we can see that in aluminum chloride, we are going to have one aluminum three plus ions and three chloride ions because of this three right here. So the ion to solute ratio from aluminum three plus to aluminum chloride is one to one and from chloride ions to aluminum chloride is three to one. So this simply means that if I know the concentration of aluminum chloride, which I already calculated, I just need to multiply that by three in order to get the concentration of the chloride ions and by one in order to get the concentration of the aluminum ions. So let me show you how to do that also with a conversion factor in case of the chloride ions. So we have 2.14 times 10 to a negative second mole per liter of aluminum Cl3, and we multiply that aluminum Cl3 on the bottom, Cl minus on top, this is mole per liter, this is mole per liter, and we know that for each one mole or mole per liter of aluminum chloride, I'm going to put the one here, I'm going to form three moles or three mole per liters of chloride ions. So if you do this calculation, you are going to get 6.42 times 10 to the negative second mole per liter as the concentration of the chloride ions and the molarity of the aluminum 
3 plus ions is going to be the same as the molarity of aluminum chloride, which is 2.14 times 10 to the negative second mole per liter. Okay, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.